have an opportunity right now to make whatever needs to happen happen so that you guys can meet face to face. And if he wants to show you that he's serious and for real, he needs to agree to meet up with you and then we will make it happen. Let him know where you're at and see if he's ready to play ball. I have not formally studied psychology. One of the things that I was very insistent on when going into the show was that we do have a clinical psychologist uh, who is available to both people while we're there and then afterwards. afterwards. So that's something I'm very aware of and, and I care about. I'm basically just giving people an opportunity, much like a therapist does, to talk and to think about themselves and to maybe get a little bit of perspective on their situation. For us, the biggest red flag was the fact that you guys have never talked on the phone. Like that's valid, but at the same time, I can't, I never was like, hey, call me. I definitely think that there are people on the show that, that do make really genuine, strong connections that can withstand, you know, meeting in person. But I definitely think that there's a lot of wishing and hoping that the other person is a certain way and giving them lots of benefits of lots of doubts because that's what makes them feel better about themselves. Tell me about this guy, Matt. I'd really, really like to meet him, but for some reason, he doesn't want to meet me. And I've never Skyped with him. I've never, he won't, he refuses. Huh. I mean, it's been over 10 years. That's a I can't, long, but, yeah, long that's time. 10, that's your like adult life, basically, which is crazy. It's definitely strengthened my belief in love, for sure. I mean, I think that it's all about the kind of connection that you make. And the problems with a lot of the, the connections that we're seeing on the show is that they're based on a deception. And if one person can't get over the fact that another person deceived them, then that's a completely valid reason to no longer be in love with that person. It's very hard for a relationship to survive that kind of deception. And I don't think love that's based on a deception is, is healthy. I think it's gonna be very hard for that to, to work out in the future. How long have you guys been friends? About three months. What, uh, what kind of stuff do you guys talk about? It's like, how are you doing? You don't have to go into detail, but like, what's the nature of the messages? Well, they, they get kind of sexual, like, I don't know. Have you actually ever spoken to her, though, like on the phone? No, actually, I have not. The girl on Monday's episode said, uh, there's no rehab for fake Facebook profiles. That yeah. was awesome. Yeah, no, that's right. And, and, and one of the things that's really interesting about her sort of psyche, is that the word I would use? Yeah, was that she, here's someone who's created a fake profile of an attractive, happy person and has hundreds of people who have friended that profile and communicate with her regularly who she feels are better off because they have a relationship with this fake person and if she were to remove that profile, they, it would hurt them. So she's actually, in a way, doing a good thing in, in her mind by giving these people some form of communication with someone that they are excited to be in touch with.